Now what I've done is listed out what we're told here that the picker earns A pounds on the first day, on the second day earns A plus D pounds, third day A plus 2D pounds and so on. And then on the 30th day, let's just mark this in that this is the 30th day, on the 30th day that picker earns £40.75. And we're asked then to get a connection between A and D. So what is it? Well, what we've got here is an arithmetic progression. Remember, an arithmetic progression is something that goes up in equal steps. And you can see we're adding D to each particular term. And you should remember that if you've got an arithmetic progression, let's just give you some notes just over here as a quick reminder, that if you have A as the first term, A plus D as the second term, and A plus 2D as the third term, and so on, the nth term is always given as A plus N minus 1 times the common difference D. And that's what we've got here. So all we need to do is use this. We know that the 30th term on the 30th day is 40.75. So we can say that therefore 40.75 must equal A, the first term of the sequence, which in this case is A, plus N minus 1, so that's 30 minus 1, multiplied by the common difference D. So in other words, what we've got is that 40.75 equals A plus 29D. And you can rearrange this, do anything you like with it, as long as it's you come back with something that's equivalent to this. Okay, it will do. So we've got some relationship between A and D. And there you go. That's how you do the first part then.